We're Gina and Steven with Live Deeper 10X, and we're traveling the world one house sit at a time. If you missed our last video, London rocked it. We hiked across the top of the O2 Arena, ate fantastic food in the Borough Market in Camden and Chelsea, we walked with the Beatles, and we landed in the Paisley Capsule. Good morning, everybody. Why am I whispering? Because it's very early, and we are in the parking garage getting ready to head to Segovia. It's 90 kilometers from Madrid, and we're taking this fun smart car to go check out Segovia. Today we're going to be exploring this amazing town which, as it turns out, was the inspiration for Cinderella's castle in Disney World. And we're going to try traditional Segovian food, even one that has a patent to this day. On the dot, the bus was backing up when people were still trying to find a seat. Can't hope for better timing than that. By the way, if you need to get somewhere in Spain, uh, or probably in lots of other places, buses are the way to go. This thing is amazing. It's every bit as nice as a plane. It's a 90 kilometer drive from Madrid to Segovia. It was less than five euros for this. One way. Yep. So round trip for both of us, less euros. than 20 euros. Yeah. yeah. And it's super comfortable and you get to see all of Spain, including the cranes and the billboards <laughs> and the graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what love is? Love is when your husband reads your mind and goes into a pescaderia and picks out the most beautiful chocolate pastry. And not only did he just pick out a chocolate pastry, he got one for me. And he read my mind. I walked into this bathroom and I was like, I need to get something to eat. I'm really hungry. I walk out, he's buying pastries. Honey, romance is not lost. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> Of course, I think he was hungry too and he wanted some chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> mm. What's your question there? What are you saying? I'm just saying like, it's sad that literally my entire basis for all of these amazing in-person, like real life architectures are based around, does that look like something from Disney World yeah, or Busch Gardens? Yeah, they did a good job with that backdrop. <laughs> It's really crazy. We've spent too much time at Universal and Busch Gardens yes. thinking that, I mean, we did travel the world at Busch Gardens. No. <laughs> So this aqueduct is absolutely amazing and I'm so impressed with Segovia in general. We came at a really good time because we're here early Saturday morning when things are still kind of quiet. I'm guessing that later on during the day today it's going to get crazy busy. So when people come here to Segovia, the one thing that they have to check out is this beautiful aqueduct behind us. This Roman architecture was built 2,000 years ago. It's over 17 kilometers long, which is about 10 and a half miles. And it used to be the aqueduct that would send water from Fuenfria Springs to Segovia. That was nice. Thank you. <laughs> 167 arches, 28 meters high at its tallest point, 20,000 granite blocks, no mortar anywhere Isn't in this that entire crazy? structure. I mean, crazy that this thing behind me has zero mortar. Yep. I mean, come on. The Romans knew exactly what they were doing. They did, and up until the 19th century, it was still being utilized. Yeah. We were just walking, and Gina noticed there is no graffiti on here at all. It's not like we're surrounded by the Segovian police force. There is one police car down here at the bottom, but we're wondering how they're able to I think we keep have that Segovian happening. youth that are very mindful of this historic feature, oh. and they purposely don't tag the beautiful Roman aqueduct. <sighs> Blessed are los jóvenes de Segovia. Gracias, jóvenes. Gracias. We 
just spoke with the uh, police officer at the bottom and asked him how it was that they kept these so clean and he said that you pay a lot of money. So apparently there are extremely expensive fines that one would have to pay if they're caught. Totally worth it. adventure over at the aqueducts and now we're heading over to the Alcazar which which is a castle well it's a fortress really it's a fortress um, but it looks like a castle and we'll explain why later I see it I see it you guys can't see it yet but we can see it the Alcazar and it actually started out originally as a fortress and then it was transitioned into a prison and now it's a museum. It was also a military school and it's absolutely beautiful. fortress or palace was constructed on a, on a rocky facade, the shape of a ship. It was great for defensive purposes, apparently it was never overtaken, so we're looking at an undefeated castle. So stay tuned. We're on our way there now. It's a bag for your mask, just to make things smoother and easier at the restaurant. So there's two distinct dishes that we're, actually three distinct dishes we're gonna try, but two of them are here in the restaurant. The first one is juliones, which are very large white beans that are very unique to Segovia. And it's, this is a type of soup that they make here. It's got eggs, paprika, it has salt, garlic, and um, jamon, which of course everything in Spain has ham. I mean, they got so many pigs, they don't know what to do with, so they gotta put ham in everything. So let's see what this tastes like. Oh, que bueno. This is fantastic, fantastic. And we have a little Van Gogh just to make things nice. It's an original. 
We're getting something kind of special today for our lunch, so we need to do a public service announcement. Yes. If you're not a carnivore. Yes. If you're yeah. vegan or you're concerned about animal control, I would fast forward through this yeah. portion of the video. Just, just hit fast forward and uh, then come back when the fun continues. Les voy a servir el, el corderito, se lo sirvo y el cochinillo se lo dejo en medio para que lo compartan. Um, ¿Lo quieren compartir al uh, centro o cochinillo y cordero? Oh, uh, do, do you want to like have it and we both share or each oh, have our own? Oh, uh, sí. Uh, Cochanillo, which is roast pig suckling, is actually a baby pig that is under three weeks old and has to weigh a certain number of ounces in order for it to be roasted. So it's a very spe specific delicacy here in Segovia, so um, it's a must try when you come here. And so we've, we've gotten both a portion of the con conchanillo and then we also got a lamb piece as well. So, I mean, it is so precise in what they do that you have to have a certificate that allows you to cook the pigs in a certain type of way. Um, even the mothers are given specific milk in order to make sure that these baby pigs are cooked in a specific way before they're before they're put into the roaster oven, which sounds really terrible, but we had to try it. Oh, and the skin, the skin is really good. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's amazing. It is so tender and so juicy, and you can actually see like the effort that they put into like really roasting this at the right temperature. I mean, you have to try it. You just have to try it. I've never had any roasted meat anywhere, any time that even compares to this. Does, nothing even compares. It's phenomenal. It, it's so tender. It just literally melts in your mouth. Every part of this meat is fantastic from the skin down to the center. The fat is delicious. It's juicy. It is so full of flavor. Um, join us. We'll, we'll wait here for you. <laughs> Even though that is a foot, and you notice we've almost finished the whole thing. This is the first time I can remember not wanting to get dessert because I don't want to lose the taste of that meal. Yeah. That's a huge deal. Mm -hmm. So just finished lunch and it was fantastic. It was everything that they said it was gonna be and then some. Conchillo is like the delicacy of Segovia and you have to try it if you're a meat eater. Um, there's a lot of people that aren't. This is like a meat eater's paradise here in Segovia. So we took a little walk because Steven wants to do some drone shots. What you doing? Uh, trying to fly. It said that we had a high wind advisory, so fly with caution. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. It's a little windy here today. And they're saying this to somebody who has no idea how to do this. Uh, we have all the confidence in the world that he's going to make this work. How far are you going out? I don't know. We can't even see it. Whoops. Obstacle avoidance. What? Oh boy. That would be the chapel or the cathedral, I bet. We found this great little hill that you walk up right outside of our restaurant that gives you the most magnificent views overlooking the village over the town of Segovia. And so I'm going to show you what we are seeing. Look at that cathedral. That is the major cathedral here. We haven't had a chance to go in there yet, but we're going to be stopping by and taking a look inside. You pay three euros and you can walk around and look at the beautiful architecture and um, stained glass. That's the last big stop we're going to make before we do one final thing before we leave Segovia today. We're going to a special space, a place that serves a specific kind of dessert because I think the waitress looked at us funny when we said we didn't want dessert. I think everybody has some sort of dessert after they have what we had at lunch today, but we saved ourselves. So we've got something very special planned that we're going to share with you. 
and we're on our way there now. And we might pass by the bus station, which would be important because today <laughs> is Saturday. Yes. And our return ticket is actually for like Tuesday. It's for October 2nd, actually. Gina, Gina didn't look at the dates very well when she planned this trip. Yeah, so, okay. so we have we... quite a bit of time here in Segovia. <laughs> so if you guys are watching and you have any other recommendations of things we can do and we're still stuck here, we would welcome your feedback. Okay, we'll see you in a few minutes. This is Gina on her phone. <laughs> Setting up another house sit, actually. So that's what I'm doing. I'm responding to another house sit because once you guys watch the new house sitting videos, you will realize that you must respond promptly when somebody sends you a message to make sure that you are one of the first ones considered. Yeah, check out those videos. So this is really cool. So this is called like the Segovian national dish, which is ponche segovon, segovon, <laughs> how do I say it? Ponche Segovinia? Segovinia. Segovinia. Okay. Ponche Segovinia. We are eating the national Segovian dish called Ponche Segovinia. No, Segovinia. It was it was actually featured by a confectionery, um, which is basically your pastry chef of the day back in 1929, and he made this out of um, custard, and it has marzipan and powdered sugar on top. King Alfonso was so taken with this dessert that he asked the baker to make sure to submit it at their version of a world fair in Barcelona, and it won the gold medal. And so now the recipe is a secret patent nobody really knows about, except you do have lots of people that try to imitate it, so we're gonna try it today. <laughs> wow. It's very, very, very sweet. But it's like a sponge cake. So it's got a sponge cake layered with custard, and then on top, there's a whole marzipan piece that's on top, and then you've got your confectioner sugar. It's really, I mean, this is more than enough, so when you come, don't get more than this. <laughs> Hey, we know that sign. That's the Camino. We didn't even know uh, the Camino went right through here. And no. Camino de Santiago right here where we are. And we're walking, and we're gonna go in here. I just wanna see. Mechanical things it looks like to move them. I guess we know his feet. <laughs> 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 My earrings can't even go to my ass. We're 12,000 meters above sea level. Are we? No. Oh. <laughs> 12,000 meters. Oh, that's really, that's really high. <laughs> we're not that high. <laughs> Gina doesn't know our meters versus our feet. <laughs> I was like, 1,200 feet? No big deal. That's fine. <laughs> which were built in the 1500s. And this one in particular, no, that's not right. I think they were- 15th old. century. They were born in the, oh, yeah, they no, were born. No, that's a castle. Yeah, when were the aqueducts built? Well, let's just say that, okay, I'll go back. Okay. Uh, there are 100, 167 